probably first uh, important to say that this has nothing to do with protecting so-called women's sports. The effect of this language simply targets an already marginalized community. Boys are boys and girls are girls, as simple as that. Introduction, discussion, and debate of these measures has extremely negative consequences for transgender young people already struggling with feelings of alienation, fear, confusion, and more. The impact of those in power disparaging them is devastating to our young, vulnerable, and very fragile citizens. One can only imagine how frightening it is to learn that a powerful politician views you in such a manner as to say that your participation in sports is so horrendous as to warrant a law to bar your ability to participate. Even more insidious is that this does not solve any problem. It's entirely contrived, but rather creates anger and fear and blame focused on a very small and vulnerable community. So thank you, Senator Port, for speaking to transgender young people because it's important to counteract what's happening on the floor today, right now. They need to hear from us, those of us in positions of influence and authority, to help them know that they are seen, they are loved, they are beautiful, and they have so much to offer. Mr. President, sports, especially youth athletics, provide such tremendous benefits, physical wellness, social bonds, emotional development, improved academic attainment, problem solving, ability to face challenge, leadership, motivation, self-discipline. Efforts like this legislation turn all of that on its head and cause sports to be fraught, divisive, ugly, and negative and not just for the target of this language, but for everyone, for all of us. And to the argument that this is somehow protecting women's sports, I would invite you to take a look at the statements of 200 athletes, professional athletes, Olympic athletes, NCAA athletes, who say that's complete nonsense. They say there is no place in any sport for discrimination of any kind. The global athletic community grows stronger when we welcome and champion all athletes, including LGBTQI plus athletes. Signed by Megan Rapino uh, and many, many others. Our own Cheryl Reeves, the coach of the Minnesota Lynx, has spoken out, and a number of others. So members, Please do what you can when you leave the floor today. Vote no on this amendment, vote yes on this amendment, but do what you can today to go out into the community. Use your megaphone, the ability to project your voice, which is the gift of our office, to reach out to the parents and the kids in our districts that are frightened by what's happening in Minnesota today.